Yeah. Eric のことがあいつをこのようにつなぎ止めてたんだ。その思いがなくなれば消えるだけだ。経験もなのか。だろうな。You know, that would explain why. Shit. That would explain why that was the.、Um, why we had to do that last. Or why we had to do. Why I did those. And why they would have been locked off. It's because. that I'm assuming that helped her move on. I guess. Son of a bitch! その目的は家族の蘇生じゃないのかさっき言ってたろあいつにとって肉体は魂の器だ捨てまわりすぎない戦わずに済む方法はないのかない邪魔をするなら排除するだけだはいはいはい Oh crap. I think I just dumped pissed it off. Here. Right. That's both those calls done. The moment I saw both those calls, I knew that's what I had to go for, but. 
この先に一体何を見ているっていうんだ知るか同情はしねえだが俺が終わらせてやる Is it still too long? What ever I told Osmada, then you'll get in your narrative. Anna Yatso no goes to Kira Rilka. Ano Sashin no Kazoko no Tameni Daro, each to Edana. Not by the most. Jimbio put on you. And then I'm gonna be, I'm as prepared as I'm gonna be. Apparently, I didn't get all of the side missions. There's some that are still needed. Then again, for all I know, some of these side missions require me getting all of the, uh, like a lot of other stuff. And the side missions even include the other stuff, uh, like all of the demons, all the, uh, all of the uh, thingies. Uh, what they call uh, all the yokai the use we're in the end game now I apologize for that reference. Koko mo minna, kesare tano ka? Doko ka ni aitsu ga iru hazu da. Ue ni itte mi yo. Son of a bitch. Kuyo o moto mo na mo yo. Tsudoi. Ushinau koto o osoreru mono yo. Tsudoi. Uh, that dude's insane. Probably. Don't let get to you. Solid game, homeboy. Do not let them get you.
それでも俺はこの戦いから逃げない守りたいものを守るためだ Good man. Mario! あの人形は時間稼ぎすらできなかったのかてめえ肉体の死はただの事象に過ぎない魂は肉体を離れてこそ本来の姿を取り戻す死生観は自由だ否定はしないだけど独りよがりの妄想に人を巻き込むな正しい導きはいつの時代も疎まれるだが君もすぐに理解するだろう。Yeah, I doubt that. 肉体がいかに無意味なものなのか。マリーさん。バカポワディング。必要な量の魂は集まった。そのすべてを使い、生と死の境界を破壊する。君の妹は最後の礎として用いられる<笑>とても尊い役割だそんなことさせるか<笑>教会が失われれば世界は一変する私はそこにささやかな楽園を作るつもりだ妻と娘の魂が永遠に輝き続けることができる何が楽園だそうだ素晴らしいことを思いついたこの娘にも楽園を用意してやろう強い意志を持った稀有な魂だ場合によっては新世界の導き手になれるかもしれない新世界のマリアいやイブかお前の夢物語など何の価値もない夢か Yes, yes, you, yeah, you are. 直接確かめたのか妹の魂がこの肉体に戻りたがっているか否か。それはこの娘の包帯の下はどうなっていると思う Don't let him play you. 肉体に固執しても苦しみが増すだけだ。だからっておいまどうされるんだこいつを倒さなければ世界が終わるんだぞ<笑>アキトしかしろ時は完全に満ちた。ここから世界が変わる新たな始まりの時だおおシェッ The barrier broke get through oh もう少しで我が祝願が成就する
倒す自分に勝つナギトお前は邪魔をするなよう確かめるのが怖えんだろ妹の気持ちを自分が命張ってまでやってきたことが全部無駄だったその答えを聞くのが怖えんだ<笑>あんたに何がわかるわからねえよ自分の家族の気持ちさえなわからねえから確かめに行くんじゃねえかザックは俺は止まらないお前はどうするボクも行くマリに直接確かめるまで死ねないあしっスタンティングアゲンAh, oh, crap. Oh shit. Now 
I feel the final leg of it all. Binding. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's hope like this plays out better than normal. Actually, I think it would be a good juxtaposition, but yeah, this place looks. This place looks like shit. Probably not, though. Ah. I think it's his. Yeah, they might just be. This is some memories. It's probably the abyss trying to slow him down. I've seen both. Who is he seen? Trying to let, trying to let go of his own guilt. Go was it though? I 
definitely a memory of the accident. Okay. Got a storytelling through visuals. I think KK has gathered what might be going on. Because life can be cruel sometimes, but unfortunately, we it's a burden we need to bear. So what happened to her? The butter in the damn hospital. Literally by looks of it.
probably better if I follow the light. Shit. Yep. KK, KK got what's going on. Oh, this is a hell of a blizzard. It's like it did. Just hope what we're really looking for is beyond those doors. の Flying flark. Mm. 
なんだこれは What the? Oh, the fire. Yeah. Oh god, is she gonna... Ah, now that I didn't see coming. Kinda figured you weren't dead. Oh, but I'm gonna put a fuck. Oh, I'm gonna saw that. <笑>私と私の家族が再び一つとなる失うことも悲しむこともない
I agree. God, you, your outsides now suit your insides. Man, they are such small goddamn targets I've got to hit. Is this stun one gonna actually fucking stun you? No, sadly it's not. There you go, get up close and personal. Fucker. With what mind he had left? My core. You know what? I'm saving it up. I'm gonna use it now. Let's see if this stops you. Stop talking. Stop moving. Damn it. Got it. Mine. Give it to me.
捕らえられていた魂だじゃあこの人たちは魂と肉体が切り離されていただけだからな自分に戻るはずだでもマリは Mother and father. Tosan, Kasan. ない。もう平気なふりなんてしないよ。泣いても。みっともなくても。I admit, wasn't was not expecting this kind of ending. I admit it. Family's in front of the family, you finally got to be happy. I was just waiting. まだそんな<笑>最後に一つだけ頼みたいことがある、うん、妻と息子に伝えてほしい俺は最後まで諦めずに生き抜いたと分かった必ず伝える悪いなスカイパシリ頼んじまって自分で行ければいいんだがちょっと疲れちまった AK Akito, you're not going to be able to do it. Shinigami is not like me. What is that? You're going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to do it.
Go. If I do my, if I do my whole thing, one moment. Okay, right, well, that was Ghostwire Tokyo, and... Okay. I'm gonna roll up the score now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my thoughts before I give my uh, final thought. Um, graphically, this game is actually really nice. Um, I think the atmosphere of, like, a major metropolitan city, one of the most busy cities in the world, Tokyo, being just barren. Other than things wanting to kill you, sets a really good atmosphere. It really does. I think the enemy designs are really good. A lot of the, uh, the designs in this game is good. The aesthetics of this game is top notch. I love it. I like um, Akiko. I love KK. I love both of those characters. The problem is this game should not have been open world. Because there are flashes of brilliance when, when it comes to the, the design choice and the aesthetics and the, the art direction. Like there have been moments you've been hearing me in this playthrough saying, oh my god, that is so fucking cool looking. That's so fucking cool. But there's such fleeting moments. There is so much shit in this game to collect. Like, this game is the antithesis. It is like one of the antithesis that I can point to and say, open world games have become too fucking bloated. This game should not have been an open world. It drags the, in my opinion, this game being open world, it really drags it down. It actually drags it down. It's like, it, I kind of feel the same way about Gears 5. Like, it, it just drags it down. Like, if it was semi-open world, maybe if, it, maybe if they got rid of a lot of these fucking collectibles, made it semi-open world like they did with the Evil Within 2, where you have to, where you can go into one section, you do everything there, then you go underground to the next section. But like the, like that I feel it would have worked. A full open world like this just dragged it down to a fucking crawl. Because like a lot of open world games where the story is fascinating as all hell, the story itself and the characters suffered because it's open world, because it wasn't as narratively focused as it should have been. Like, at least in, say, The Evil Within 2, by, by the same company, you can turn around and say, characters like Sykes, O'Neill, um, Sebastian himself, like you, and even the villains, you could turn around and say, there is enough emphasis on them in the world and enough narrative on them to make them fucking fascinating. I, as out of his, des outside of his design, I couldn't say the same thing about the antagonist of this game. I really could not. Like, for every good thing this game does, there is like, the, the open world is what just drags the it back two fucking steps. It drags everything back two steps. And this isn't me just trying to be, um, me hating on open worlds. Open worlds can work. The problem is, is, you just end up traveling between a load of different shit, being blocked off by the smoke. There's not a real good way to travel, in my opinion. And, and again, there's just so much crap to, to get. Like, the main story is bloated by all of the side missions, which I'll admit, the side missions have their own really cool, unique stories. But it's just bloated with side missions and collectibles. Like, I'm really curious what the average time is to beat this game if you just go straight missions. I really am. Which... 
Which leads me to my... Uh, and like I said, the only reason KK and um, the main character, o Okiko... Uh, Akiko. I think that's his name. Fuck me. I'm bad with names. I'm bad with remembering names. The only reason they stand out is because we're with them the entire game and... You just constantly hear them bantering between each other, which makes them cool. Rik Rinko just gets thrown off to the wayside. You don't... Like, because you just don't see her enough, you don't interact with her enough. And the only, the only, the only presence the main villain has is he just constantly broadcasts over the goddamn television, which just gets annoying after a time. Like, the ending, I'll admit, the ending was pretty goddamn satisfying, but, and also, it kind of went with a twist of, no, like, we got, we get to talk to her, but we do not save our sister. Like I, I will give the game that the ending was kind of a was something I didn't see coming. With that, it was all nice, but like it just is so unfocused. Which is why I'm gonna be honest. I give this a a rent rental slash borrow. Like. Throughout some of this, I was like, I was wrestling myself. I was like, no, this is a buy at full price. This is a buy at full price. And then I was like, okay, no, no, no. Maybe it's, maybe it's a pre o slash discount. It's at least that. But then the credits, when I'm just here stewing, thinking to myself over everything I've gone through with this game, I I can't honestly give this anything other than a fucking rental slash borrow. This game needed to be more linear. It needed to follow the Evil Within 2 on the Evil Within 2's design. Because at least with the Evil Within 2, there is a, you you don't forget the story. Like, yes, there might be some side stuff that you do. Like, you go and get this ammo pack, you do this side story, but at the very least, you don't, you don't forget the story. You're constantly being reminded of it. And the and the main story is still a central focus. Where in this one, the main the the story t it become becomes out of focus. So yeah, that's that's my final score for Ghostwire Tokyo. I do actually. I'm, I, the more I think on this game, the more I am actually disappointed in it. But I still feel there is something from an aesthetic standpoint, from an artistic standpoint, this game deserves to at least be played. Because, like I said, there were just moments in this game—the enemy designs, the, the some of the uh, some of the wackier moments, like the the paint coming off of the wall, like, like, like that that kind of shit is just so good. The atmosphere of Tokyo just being so fucking deserted, but honestly, the open world and everything in it that entails just dragged it down and ruined a lot of other things. <sighs> Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Ghostwire Tokyo. I do hope you've all enjoyed. I'm Dante Crisis. Signing off, and I'll see you next game.